Three buckle by twelve, team. Team of the May start. Clearly, 
190 heads of state, nine are women. Of all the people in parliament in the world, 13% are women. In the corporate sector, women at the top, C-level jobs, board seats, tops out at 15, 16%. The numbers have not moved since 2002 and are going in the wrong direction. Even in the nonprofit world, a world we sometimes think of as being led by more women, women at the top, 20%. We also have another problem, which is that women face harder choices between professional success and personal fulfillment. A recent study in the U.S. showed that of senior managers, of married senior managers, two-thirds of the married men had children, and only one-third of the married women had children. A couple of years ago, I was in New York, and I was pitching a deal, and I was in one of those fancy New York private equity offices you can picture, and I'm in the meeting, it's about a three-hour meeting, and two hours in, there kind of needs to be that bio break and everyone stands up. And the partner running the meeting starts looking really embarrassed. And I realize he doesn't know where the women's room is in his office. So I start looking around for moving boxes, figuring they just moved in, but I don't see any. And so I said, so did you just move into this office? And he said, no, we've been here about a year. And I said, are you telling me that I'm the only woman to have pitched a deal in this office in a year. And he looked at me and he said, yeah, or maybe you're the only one who had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right, so the video speaks for itself. It's quite ironic because it's a woman speaking and she's saying that she probably had statistics that they are the inferior sex. And plus, you, you're saying that we are emotionally, we are emotionally, we are physically weaker. But you said all of that, but you didn't provide me with where are the statistics, where is the source, from which university, from which... I'm, I'm saying I'm talking. Okay. Uh, if, you're, if you're telling Adam to visualize a woman standing in front of him, okay, let's go down before me and you and do 20 push-ups. Why can't you do any of that? Yeah. I don't know, it's not my problem, you know, you're trying to push it, you're basically strong anyway. Anyway, uh, you're being hypothetical, so say what if and what if, but then, now, as Donna said, uh, if we're progressing, right, but who's, who's superior now? We are, you're progressing, but you're, you're not progressing, you said, you're not progressing. Yeah, but, you're not, now we are, we are superior, no one like this person, just, all right, take your point. That's my point. Thank you very much. Second rebuttal will be Farah Bashar. So, physical power is an attribute that not only a man possesses but also a woman. People have been raised to understand and define physical power as a man with strong muscles and a strong body building. The words tough, powerful, strong have been, associated, have been associated with physical capabilities in people's mindset. And beyond those physical attributes, tying them to a male's physical capabilities and ruling out a woman's core strength in her mind, body, and soul. Now, of course, during pregnancy, women suffer from it, yet they continue to go to their full jobs. A woman's body goes through many multiple changes that, within a very short period of time. And moreover, uh, moreover, what about the weight that she carries by itself for many months, let alone the other changes that come with it, such as morning sickness, such as uh, hormonal fluctuations. This is a tremendous physical achievement that no man, I mean, that no man would ever be able to endure. Childbirth, labor, is a, is a miracle that goes beyond any extraordinary physical accomplishment and capability that, that, that a man can develop. Yet, with all the, with all the pain, uh, with all the, yet with all the pain that women endure, they emphasize that it's the sweetest, sweetest pain that only a, a woman can go through. For it is a miracle to the world. Okay, so now normally when a man, a woman compete in an athletic contest, People would directly say, uh, without any doubt, that a man would win. But however, Pam Reed was the bomb that destroyed that idea. She is the mother of five, the director of the Tuscan Marathon, and the winner, I mean, the winner of the Bad Water Marathon, Ultra Marathon, which is a 135 mile run in the desert. Can you imagine? <laughs> But also she competed against tougher men. So now I leave you with 
use this video to explain to explain everything.
Hi. Uh, we're on a school project. Is it okay if we take two minutes of your time just for a quick interview? We're doing it for a survey. Or a survey? More of a survey? Okay. Yeah, regarding gender superiority when it comes to emergency services. Let's say emergency services. Let's say, God forbid, your house burnt down. Would you rather have a male or a female resident? Why? Male. Male. Why is that? can exert up to 285 newtons, while on the other hand, women can exceed 155. Therefore, you can conclude that men are better at jobs that require and demand physical strength. Plus, let's not forget the fact that women go through pregnancy and menstruation. Usually, pregnancy and menstruation affects women in so many different ways, whether it was physically or mentally. Men don't go through such stuff. Men don't go through such stuff which makes them provide us with a more efficient and stable performance throughout the the time, the period, the period of time that they're working with. <clears throat> Plus, as my friend just said, Hago, a woman are more emotionally unstable. Emotional instability leads to wrong decisions and it also leads into an, an inefficient uh, performance. <clears throat> all, uh, it's, statistic, also, it's statistically proven that almost all of our modern and uh, ancient science were discovered and re revolutionized by men, whether it was mathematics, chemistry, physics, etc. So, it's undeniable, it's obvious, and it's certainly true that men are the superior gender. Thank you. Now the first thing about the first thing is the name of Rawi. Are simply extraordinary. 
Time to be quiet now. We're waiting for your results from the judges. Two minutes for the player. What's the result? I can't Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you so much. Now we can cheer for the boys who are going to win. Cheer for the boys who are going to win. Now we can cheer for the girls who are going to win. We have two classes today, both B and 12 and the winners are 12.